I grew up in Lagos, Nigeria, which is where I have lived all my life, but I always wondered what it would be like to live in Johannesburg, South Africa. Getting a great apartment in Lagos is expensive, especially if you are getting it on the island, which is an affluent area of Lagos, Nigeria. Today we are going to be comparing what $1,500 gets you in Lagos, Nigeria compared to what it gets you in Johannesburg, South Africa. Let's start off with South Africa. This apartment in South Africa is a block of three bedroom units in Santin, which is an affluent suburb situated in Johannesburg. This apartment is 102 square meter and costs $1,500 monthly to live in. The apartment in this video is a staged apartment, so it doesn't come fully fitted. Let's take a tour around and see what's inside. This is the sitting area. You can also sit down and watch TV. And one thing I noticed about most of these apartments here is they have a lot of lights coming in. They make most of the windows really big and most of the sliding doors really big. So there's a lot of light coming in from the outside. So this is the sitting room area and then this is the dining table glass dining table, you can sit down and have a nice meal. If I had wine now, I would just pour it in, but you said you shouldn't drink alcohol during this period because you look into your immune system. I know you're trying to stay safe from cold now. Wash your hands guys, wash your hands. And this is the kitchen area. They don't sweat in South Africa because the you know, weather is really, really, really chill here. Then also we have a... Uh, check out this water bottle. Doesn't look like water that looks like. So from here we walk into the bedroom where the magic happens. This is the outdoor terrace. I'm going to show you more of it. And then this is the bedroom. Check out. Ah, the finishing. Like, I can't smell the luxury in here. It's, it's luxury, but also you wouldn't, it doesn't look like it's luxury, but it looks like it's luxury. Like, I don't know. Like, you're confused, confused, right? I'm <laughs> confused, man. And this is the bed, you know, and the bed headrest, and some nice take off. We spent a lot of time in the bedroom, so the bedroom has to be really. Woo! Where's the back of Shower. Nowadays, they're always putting showers and bathtubs in all houses. That's one room. Oh, it's raining already. Let me show you guys outside before the rain, before the rain becomes really serious. Yeah. So, this is the outdoor terrace. It's raining right now. It's raining. It's raining. Ha ha. It's raining right now, but this is what the outdoor terrace looks like. And it's really dope. When it's raining and it's chilly like this, and you probably want to have some barbecue with your friends. This is where you have the barbecue, and this is where you sit down for the barbecue to be ready. Yeah, this apartment is three bedroom, so this is one of the first bedrooms here. So there's a lot of light entering, so it's always lit up even without putting on any of these lights and also big closets as the other one this is the last bedroom so with a different design the person who really designed this place actually took their time i love the design of this place and there's a reason here and here for those of us who like to read and research if i'm going to drop this video i'm probably going to research about you know the real estate market in south africa see south african birds i love animals but you don't read it <laughs> I'm done reading, like, I, I'm a speed reader, I read it like, like 2 seconds So this is the bedroom for these other two rooms, because these two rooms are not ancient All the bedrooms really have similar designs, there's a toilet here, a bathtub, and also a shower, like I said earlier The great thing about many apartments in South Africa is that they come fully fitted with kitchen and laundry equipment 
My favorite thing about this apartment is the stylish design of the large glass windows which allows light to come in from different points of the house and makes it light up. Another great advantage of staying here is the access to the lifestyle center which has a restaurant, a gym, a massive side pool and a great playground for kids. This apartment costs one year it is seven thousand dollars to buy outrightly which is a great option for property investors one downside to this apartment though is that two bedrooms have to share one toilet but i'm sure this is common in most countries to save space and reduce cost when building i was really impressed with this apartment and i feel for the price you get a lot of value for your money it doesn't seem like an insanely expensive apartment especially for a nice area like this so guys this is me walking along the estate you know just want to show you guys what it looks like here there are a lot of rows of houses on either side so guys this is the lifestyle center of this complex and as you can see there's this big as this is one of the biggest we pull up ever seen in my life this has one of the amenities that you can have if you're living in something you know, check out the estates now look how beautiful and dope it is it's really dope and i actually would i don't mind getting an apartment here Now let's head down to Africa's most popular city to see what we can get for the same price. In Lagos, you will definitely get all rooms and suits for the same price. This is an apartment that's currently up for sale for $194,000 at Ikate Leki area of Lagos Island. This apartment has four bedrooms, a mini pool and a gym. Leki is a highbrow neighborhood area in Lagos, Nigeria and it is home to a large percentage of the high-income individuals in Africa's biggest city. The average monthly rent for a great three-bedroom apartment in Lagos is around $1,000 for 150 square meter. Rent in Nigeria is usually paid annually, but for the purpose of comparison, we will be breaking it down to monthly payments. This four-bedroom apartment is a unit in a block of semi-detached duplex apartments with a space of 150 square meter. Something like this will cost around $1,500 per month. Apartments in Lagos are usually paid yearly, which is one major difference between South African and Nigerian apartments. First thing you see when you hit the bottom floor of this building is the guest bedroom, which has its own private shower and bedroom. It's always a good idea to have a separate extra room for your guests when they come visiting. It also has a living room on the first floor which has a balcony and a great view of the outdoors. This space also houses the kitchen which is really spacious and has an outdoor balcony. The kitchen comes fully fitted with ovens, air extractors but no refrigerator or washing machine. You would need to buy that yourself. Lastly, the topmost floor is where all the bedrooms are. This apartment has three bedrooms at the top floor. They are all end suits and are moderately spaced. The bedrooms have a shower to save space. Only the master bedroom has a bathtub. The master bedroom is the most spacious with a walk-in closet. One downside to this apartment is the lack of extra amenities and facilities that would have made staying here more fun. On the upside, we can both come to the conclusion that this apartment is more spacious than the previous one. If I was to live in a house like this, I'll probably turn one of the rooms to my YouTube studio so I can create awesome content for you guys. At the end of the day, every country has its perks and advantages and living in an area is usually based on personal and financial preferences. This is a sample of rent in Lagos, Nigeria versus Johannesburg, South Africa. Obviously, every area in a city has different pricing and ranges, so I'm sure everyone would have different opinions based on the area they live in. Comment which apartment you like more and I'll be sure to see you in my next video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon to get a notification from YouTube whenever I post a new video. Also, follow me on Instagram at Tire Films. Okay, see you guys in the next one. Peace!